Okay, since you're not a help. Oh. Hey guys, Diamond Sword here. Today we're going to be making some chocolate chip cookies. Which I already started on like five minutes ago while I was recording this video. And then my recording just stopped. So we're already like, I don't know, like halfway done. So when we add it in here, guys, I'm just going to tell you. So we added in one stick of softened butter, a third of a cup of brown sugar, a third of a cup of white sugar, just like normal sugar, and then one egg. That's so far we have, and then I've been trying to find my vanilla extract, but so far I haven't found it, <laughs> which is really bad uh, for now. Um, until I can find it. So I'm just going to pause you guys here, and then we will figure this out. Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding in um, we don't have, I haven't found a vanilla extract, so we're going to be using almond extract. I don't know what the difference is, um, probably because this one tastes like almonds, tastes like vanilla, but chocolate chip flavored almond cookies, okay, how about that, that's fantastic, that's fine, that's dandy. We will have to work with this for now, until we can get a better bottle, until we can get another bottle of vanilla extract from Oh, and also guys, by the way, if you guys are wondering, we're making good and free chocolate chip cookies, so we're going to be, so we're going to be differencing the recipe, um, for my mother, because she is gluten free, she's gluten tolerant, and she can't have anything that has bread in it. No, I'm not gluten free, I can have stuff that has bread in it, but just to be a nice person, I'm going to be making these gluten free. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be... Smells like almonds. Okay. Yeah. Not just any almonds. Pure almonds. Like, as if there's a difference, but okay. So, we're going to put that back there. And, okay. Next is one cup plus two tablespoons of flour. So, a third of a cup of flour flour, but instead of normal flour, I'm going to be using some gluten-free flour. Um, where is it? Where do we put flour? Coconut? No. Uh, sugar? No. Um, I will be back. I'm going to pause the video here, and then we will resume when I return. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I did find some Red Hill 1 to 1 baking flour that's gluten free, uh, as you guys can see. I'm making recipes gluten free. And I did also find some all purpose flour from, uh, if I can just get it, okay, so you guys can see it from Walmart. Uh, <laughs> so, um, either way, if I couldn't find that gluten free flour, which would have really sucked, but if I didn't, then not even. Fine and dandy, but if I didn't ask my ask my chocolate chips, then you great. Okay, yeah, so now I can make this with the flour. So let's get to it and add the flour. So we do the exact same thing I did with the so it says one cup two tablespoons. So I'm gonna use two half cups make one cup and then the two tablespoons. So let's get flour in there. So I might have to use all the flour okay so I might have to use all this flour just to accommodate for the loss of Okay, great. Next up is half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I don't have kosher salt, so I'm going to use normal salt like any other normal human being. Um, where to put the salt? Black pepper. 
We have salt. God dang it. Yeah, so I found the salt it's right here. It's, it's, it's Morton salt. Okay. So, half a teaspoon. I'm gonna guess this is a. I'm gonna guess that this is a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna do half of this. Okay, half. Okay. Simple. Okay, so there's that. And then what's next? Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, I know we have that here. Baking powder, baking soda. Okay. Okay, and then next up, one cup of chocolate chips. Well, I want these to be chocolate chip cookies. So instead of adding chocolate chips, we're going to be adding some pink artificial flavored melting chocolate. Auburn, Emerald Sword. Would you like to have some pink chocolate chip cookies? Or would you rather have like the semi-sweet chocolate chip cookies? Semi-sweet? Okay. Never mind. We have now gained up that we will have semi-sweet instead of what I wanted, which was to make some cool looking chocolate chips. So that's fine. That that's that's fine with me. So we'll more just Add as many as I think that's good enough. Okay, so that's good. So now we just clip them all together. Okay. Good. Okay, so then we take our, I don't know if you guys know this, but then we take our lid and we place it on top, like so, with a bit, ah, okay, and then we, not there, but it's not plugged in yet, so then we plug it in to our outlet, which is right behind us, ah, I just lost all feed, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's good. You guys good? Okay, can you guys see this? Okay, let's see that. Can you guys see what that do? I'm going to do us a huge favor and use this knife that I just found right here to cut off the butter since it's not working because I'm pretty sure it isn't as melted as I wanted it to so I have to cut this butter up into pieces like that there, there okay, let's just 
I know I'm saying, I know I say sometimes I'm a professional cook, but I am not, because I clearly did a big amount of dumb dumb mistake of, you know, putting in the butter as a full stick and not, you know, getting it to where it's a little bit more melted. Okay, retry here. For the second time, let's, let's do a, let's a redo, okay? So then we put back on the power pod, and we resume. So this is like my first time using this other than last night when I trotted it out and I'm um I don't know. Uh I don't know. I'm gonna have to toss this in the microwave for a little bit. That's what I might do. Because like the freaking thing is going down, so I'm just gonna just I think that should be good. I think we probably fixed the problem. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check this out. And um uh, looks like cookie dough. Okay. I'm going to have to take it up because I'm uh okay. That's fantastic. Rock and play right there, fantastic, good, great, grand, wonderful. And then we're gonna take ourselves. I will be back. I have to get myself accustomed to these things. Okay, guys, so I let the cookies dough chill for about five, ten minutes. Okay, we're gonna grab it out. Fantastic. Look at that dough. Okay, we're gonna grab a spoon. And close up bye guys i'm on my preheater the oven to 375 degrees as you guys can see and then this is a non-stick cookie sheet that we're going to be using for now and i will be back when i am putting them on the plate uh, hey guys that i'm sort of here back again nah stop falling stop falling stop falling okay hey guys okay so just show that to me i'm turning stranger hi Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cookie dough, you know, this spoonful of it, and just plop it down the cookie sheet. Good. Okay.
Okay, so that is the rest of that. So now guys, I'm going to put these in the oven. And... Wait, let me just... Put the oven. Oh god, that is hot. Okay. Oh. That's, that's really hot. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna take this baking sheet and just... Put it in there for 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna set a timer for... Let's go... 12 and go and I will see you guys when those are done.